Welcome to our lecture online. Our next topic for factoring is what we call the factoring of perfect squares. Now what that means is that if you have something in this format, it can be factored into this format. So here, when we take a look at what we have on the left inside this box, we have a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Well, that can be factored to be a plus b times a plus b, which can be written as a plus b squared. So this is what we call a perfect square. It can be written as this. But how do you recognize it as a perfect square? Well, the way to do it is to work backwards. So here we have a plus b quantity squared. Let's work this out. So this can be written as a plus b times a plus b. And this can then be written as, when we start multiplying, we're going to take a and multiply it times a, and we're going to multiply times b. The same with the b in the left binomial. So this can then be written as a times a, which is a squared, plus a times b, which is a times b, plus b times a can also be written as a b, and b times b can be written as b squared. And then notice we can combine the two middle terms, and this can therefore be written as a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And notice when we have something that looks like this, we can then convert it to make it look like this. What if we have a negative sign? Well, let's do the same thing. This can be written as a minus b times a minus b. And so again, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply, whoa, drop my pen, the a times a and the a times negative b, negative b times a, negative b times negative b. And so this can now be written as a times a, which is a squared, a times a negative b minus a b, negative b times a minus a b, negative b times negative b plus b squared. Combine the two middle terms. This is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Notice the middle term is always twice the product of the first term times the last term. So now we can say that if we see something like this, we can then turn that back into something like that. All right, so then let's practice with this quantity right here. Notice we're going to write this out as follows. We're going to multiply this out. And so this can now be written as the first term squared plus two times the first term 3x times the last term 2y times plus the last term squared, 2y squared. Notice, it is the first term squared plus twice the first term times the second term plus the last term squared. So basically, it's the first term squared plus twice the product of the first times the last plus the last term squared. So this is exactly the same thing. Or we can write as follows. This is equal to the first squared plus two times the product of the first times the last plus the last term squared. And so whenever we can recognize that, we can go ahead and factor it. So in this case, we can say, well, this is equal to, when we write this out, we're going to rewrite this as the quantity 3x squared, or matter of fact, better yet, let me just write it like this. So this can be written as 9x squared plus 2 times 3 times 2, that would be 12xy plus 4y squared. So essentially, when we see this, we need to think to ourselves, okay, this looks like the first term 3x quantity squared plus 2 times 3x times 2y plus the quantity 2y squared, and then we'd take a look at this and go, that's the first term squared plus two times the first term times the second time, the second term plus the last term squared. And then when we factor it, what does it look like? When we factor it, this would be equal to, or let me do it over here. So this would be, if we factor this, this would be the, the quantity, the first plus the last quantity squared. So that's how we factor that. So again, if we take a look at this, and I'll go ahead and put it underneath so it's easier to see. So we write the same thing. So it's the first 3x plus the last 2y 
quantity squared, and that's how you can factor something that looks like it's in this format. The first squared plus twice the product of the two plus the last term squared. And so that's a very handy equation to have both directions. For example, when we have something that looks like this, let's say 3a plus 5b quantity squared, if we want to multiply that out, we can say that is equal to the first term squared, which is 9a squared, plus the last term squared, plus the last term, which is 25b squared, plus the product of the 2 multiplied times 2. So twice 3a times 5b, 3a times 5b is 15ab, times 2 would be 30ab. So notice, this is a very handy method to use frontward and backwards, we have a binomial squared, you can write it out very quickly, or if we recognize it as the written out form of a binomial squared, we can then very easily go back and write it like this, as long as we recognize the format, and that is how it's done.